Hi, I'm Mora. I work at the Blick in Lincoln Park in Chicago. I've been working there as a sales associate for about a year and a half. I'd say my favorite part about working at Blick is how much you're inspired by the customers that come in, the questions that they have. So it's very inspiring to just see how interested people are in the product. Just looking through the products that we have definitely piques my curiosity about them. We've been getting a ton of new product in that has been really interesting and testing out that product has really influenced my work. A lot of my more recent watercolor work and illustrations and sculptures, those have definitely been affected by that push towards abstraction. So the Winsor Newton watercolor markers, if an artist is used to using an alcohol-based illustration marker like the Prismacolor markers or Copic or the Blick Studio illustration markers, it's these are very comparable to those markers. The marks that they make, their blendability, but the biggest benefit is that instead of using a blender pen, you can always just use water to blend it. So the Winsor Newton watercolor sticks, they sort of remind me of a hybrid between a water-soluble crayon and like the pan sets of watercolors. So you can either like wet your brush and take it straight to the stick and just paint from that, or you can take it directly to the paper, draw whatever you want on the paper, and then re-wet it with a brush. Or you could wet your paper first and then draw with it and you'll get a similar effect. So with the pool paintings that I've been working with with watercolor, um, I sort of dive into it. I pick a certain type of paper that I'm interested in. Um, I've been working with smoother, hot press, watercolor papers. As soon as I've picked out the paper, I dive right into it. I pick up usually a fairly large mop brush, lay down a pool of water in whatever organic shape um, sort of seems appropriate. And then as soon as that pool is laid down on top of the paper, I will dip my watercolor brush, a smaller brush usually, um, straight into whatever pigment I have on my palette. The Winsor Newton paints have like a high quality in pigment that does go really far. Um, the, the paints are very pigmented and I can definitely tell now with the type of painting that I'm doing. Usually uh, I'll work with um, sort of the same tones in one little pool. And then I'll just sort of swirl it around in the water, let it sort of disperse, do its own thing, mix with the other pigments that I've put into it. And as soon as that's over, as soon as that first pool has been laid down and sort of altered, I'll lay down the next one sort of in shape, in sort of a corresponding shape to the one before it so that they all sort of fit together in a fluid sort of cellular fashion. 